Hello and welcome back to Electrified Bids and today I'm going to show you how to measure RF power using an oscilloscope. So what you need is an oscilloscope, a 50 ohm load, here I have just two 100 ohm resistors tied in parallel to achieve 50 ohms and whatever you want to measure the RF power from like this RF generator I have here. So, let's look at our equations for this. Here we have voltage peak, here we have Ohm's law, voltage equals current times resistance. And here we have the equation for finding power. Power equals voltage times current. And here we have the equation for finding RMS voltage using peak to peak. Voltage RMS equals 1 over 2 times square root of 2 times voltage peak to peak. Now, using all of these, we can then make our equation for finding RF power. So here, we so this part of the equation is used to find the current flowing through the resistor. And this is just multiplying the voltage to get power. So this is with equivalence to I current. So our power is P equals V times I. And our power is V times I. What you see here is we use the peak-to-peak -peak voltage to find the RMS voltage and that up there is the RMS voltage and that's 50 divided by 50 to find the current flowing through the resistor. I'm using 50 here because I'm using a 50 ohm load. And here is just to find the voltage again to multiply to find the power. So let's see this in actual action. So 50 ohm resistor and then an RF generator, and the oscilloscope is measuring the voltage across the resistor. So let's look at this. I have here an oscilloscope, and it's set at five volts per division. So let's count the peak to peak voltage. Five, 10, 15, 20 volts peak to peak. So this thing is generating 20 volts peak to peak with a 50 ohm load. Now let's do the math. Let's substitute power of R F equals 20 times 1 divided by 2 square root of 2 divided by 50 times 20 times 1, 2, square root of 2. That is our equation. Now let's solve for that using our calculator. So we're first going to find our RMS voltage and divide it by 50. So 20 times 1 over 2 times square root of 2 is, nope, I did it wrong. 20 times 1, 2, 2, that is our RMS voltage, 7 volts approximately. And then we're going to divide this by 50. And we get that. So we have around 140 milliamps flowing through that resistor there. Now let's find a wattage. We just multiply that by our RMS voltage. So that is going to be 20 times 1, 2, and we get 1 watt of power. So if our peak to peak voltage is 20 volts and we're using a load of 50 ohms, 
we can determine that this RF generator is outputting one watt of power. And when you touch this, it is very hot because it's just two quarter watt resistors tied together, which makes a half watt resistor, which is going to get very hot under a load of one watt. And you can see it's starting to, it's not really visible in the camera, but I can see that it's starting to discolor a bit. That there's just flux, that's not discoloration, but if you look at the left side, you can barely see some discoloration because it's getting really hot. And that's how you can find RF power using an oscilloscope. Hope that helped.